Many of you sharing with us your thoughts about the loss of the lighthouse. Chris writing, so sad. Growing up in the 70s, our family always went there for Saturday dinners. Great food, great people. And Judy writing, how much she'll miss eating there, saying, we used to have the best date nights enjoying the ribs and prime rib. So the lighthouse has been there for 112 years, and the community has sort of changed around the lighthouse. Despite all the change, the past endured there, including when the Supper Club was a popular stop for some notorious figures passing through. From iconic bootlegger Al Capone and the man who robbed two dozen banks, earning the title public enemy number one. So we've got good documentation of John Dillinger being there and he had a misfire of his gun while he was in the restaurant one day. So there's just some unique stories that are um, the lighthouse is able to tell and no one else in Lynn County can tell those stories. Now the stories are about all that is left. Although the lighthouse could be replicated, the building itself is gone forever. But Templeman says that doesn't mean the history is gone with it. I think continue to tell stories about the lighthouse, continue to be excited about other local landmarks, make sure that you're frequenting those places while they do exist, because history changes and does get lost over time. So the best we can do is celebrate what we do have.